All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to use a 3D printed D-Lit tool. This will void your warranty. So you want to remove the IHS. Uh, we basically place it into the D-Lit tool so the notches in the IHS, they match the notches in the tool. Um, yeah, so we just place it in there, and there's only one way it goes in, and it needs to be flush with the top of the tool. There's a little indent here for the top side components. Uh, this should go in here and it should be a snug fit. You really should use a metal vise, but in lieu you can use a C-clamp. Um, but you should have even distribution of weight on both ends, which the C-clamp does and it just centralizes it. So I press slowly, forward. I go really slowly. There we go. And you hear that? And that's basically the pop. And you see that the PCB has now moved forward. They might get stuck together, that's why there's a hole on the back. And it's really easy to remove. You use a screwdriver and you go in there and you leverage it out. Boom, out. Cool. PCB has been removed. And now you basically clean up the IHS. You see it's clean. Uh, there's no bending on the PCB. It's perfectly straight. And so that's how that tool works. Now you basically want to get rid of um, the glue. You want to get rid of the glue and you want to uh, change the thermal paste out. Uh, maybe use some alcohol to clean that up. And you want to make sure that everything is really nice and pretty before you put it back in. And uh, this holds the IHS in place. So you can always basically glue it back on holding this in place and applying a little glue to these edges and putting the PCB back in there. It should fit perfectly flush once again, and yes, it's perfectly flush. You see what it did? It moved the PCB forward a little bit like that. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching.